Hello everyone, this is Emmanuel, and in this video I'm going to show you how to activate your HostGator SSL on your website. So HostGator gives you an SSL for free by default um, once you set up your hosting with them. So I have a website here that I've set up with HostGator and the website is already done. But if you look here at the top left, you see that even though HostGator includes an SSL, it says the website is not secure. So I'm going to show you how to activate that and it's actually really simple. So you're going to go to the back end of your WordPress website and you're going to go to plugins. Then you're going to click add new and we're going to be adding a new plugin. And this plugin is called simple, simple SSL. And there it is, really simple SSL and you can click install. And activate. And this is a really great plugin because it automatically detects um, text the, the HostGator SSL and will help you set it up. So we're going to click here on, we're going to go to really simple SSL back at the plugins list and we're going to click on settings. Um, here it says uh, go ahead activate my SSL and we're going to click go ahead and activate and this will work for most hostings that have SSL built in. If you don't have SSL built in and you have to buy it separately um, there are a few extra steps that you can uh, search here on YouTube, but for hostings that include it, like HostGator, you can just go ahead and click Activate. And we're going to give that a second to load. And there you go, it says that it's been activated. Now when we refresh the page here, it's going to ask us to log in again. There you go, and we're going to log in again, because now the domain changed, so we have to log in again. It's okay. And now that we've logged in, we see that now we have the, the, uh, uh, the HTTPS and we have our encrypted website. And we can go here and make sure that our pages show up as encrypted. Let's check that out. And we can see that some pages are showing the HTTPS, but it's showing us that it's still not secure. And that can be due to your um, the way your website is designed. For example, I've used Elementor. So you might need to replace the URLs. Elementor has that built in. If not, you can look up a different uh, URL replacing plugin. But since we have Elementor, we're going to go to uh, Tools, Elementor Tools. And we're going to go to Replace URL. And the process with a different plugin will be similar. You're going to have some kind of Replace URL feature in that plugin. And you're going to copy the, oops, you're going to copy the URL see to copy and here it says what's the old URL and what's the new URL that you want to switch it to so we're going to paste them both here but we're going to make a quick change the old URL is the one without the S like that we're going to delete the S and the new URL is the one with the S just like that so pretty much what we're telling WordPress is find all the URLs that are missing the S and replace them and add the S in them so that the, so that the links can load properly and we're going to click replace URLs Okay, and we're going to click Save Changes. Any other plugin is probably going to also have a Save button after you replace them. And that's it, we've done it. So let's go back to the site. And let's see if we have to do anything else. Perfect. So now on the home page, we have the secure lock there. We go to About. We have the secure lock there, Contact Us. We have the secure lock there. So we, uh, at that point, we've pretty much done it. So. That's pretty much the only two steps. Uh, for some websites, depending on the website builder that you've used, you won't have to do the replacement URL part. If you do, you can use any replace URL plugin. In addition, I just did a quick search for replace URL and I wanted to show you. Uh, there's this plugin here, it has a pretty good rating. And from the description, it says that you know it goes through the entire site and it can replace the URLs. And you can see here, yeah, old URL, and new URL. So you can use this plugin, install it, go to its settings, and replace the URLs if you're using something that is not Elementor. But once you do that, you will be able to have a completely secure website. If you have any questions, please leave it down in the comments. Uh, if you would like to inquire about any web design questions, my website is icreateyoursite.com, and I would be more than happy to help you. Have a great day.